Good afternoon. It is 4.51 here in Florida. And peace and blessings and love to everyone. Okay, you guys. Well, first I'm going to tell you guys we did get a car. And we got a great deal on it. And, oh, I just want to say God is so good, y'all. He is so, so good. And happy Valentine's Day. Uh, you know, it says in the Bible, in the book of John, that God is love. And he is the ultimate love. There's no love like what our Lord has for us. Uh, he died for us on the cross in order to reconcile man back to Father God. Now that's love. There is no greater love than the love that he has. But um, I want to go on and let you guys know that uh, we, the, the type of vehicle that we got, well, we know that uh, Andy has to have a, a type of vehicle that holds his ladders, uh, work vehicle, and, you know, like I said, God is so good. He made a way for us to get a great deal and to have almost the exact same car. Now, why is that so wonderful? The reason why it's so wonderful is because we already put a bunch of new parts in uh, in the car that we have now or had, you know, have had and have now beside the uh, other one we just got. And, you know, there are some things, some cosmetics and stuff like that that need to be fixed on this particular vehicle. But, uh, like I said, the Lord is so good, and it's the same vehicle almost, y'all. And it is just uh, wonderful that we will be able to utilize the new parts that we have already put on the vehicle that we have uh, pre-owned okay so praise god thank you father and thank you again <laughs> my wonderful loving brethren uh you guys are just awesome so what i want to do is take you all on a golden brick road with me now you guys know <laughs> i've always said that and um well that's just a way of saying the leading of the holy spirit so we are going to start with what you see before you is um closer magazine and um well a sister in a video about six days ago seven days ago she said to me aren't you the one that had the gone with the wind videos and yes I am that person, and uh, there's a whole bunch to be said about that video, but um, the, the time 2.21 was in that video, and I found out that this, this particular movie was exactly two, minute, uh, two hours and 20, 21 minutes long, and... Um, well, that's pretty amazing, and that's without all the um, the intercessions and the music, uh, is what a person had told me. And, well, what's being said here is, um, she says, uh, go check out the Closer magazine. They just put out a article on Gone with the Wind. Now, it says here, uh, the Gone with the Wind cast uh, remembers the iconic film for its 80th anniversary. Now, we know that the fig tree, the parable of the fig tree, is 70 to 80 years with strength. So, um, and thank you, sister, for putting that comment there. Um, I was just pretty much blown away. It talks about this magazine being a cashier's magazine uh, called The Closer. Now, the word cashier, to me, stood out. We know that the Lord paid a very, very heavy price for us with his precious blood to redeem us and reconcile us back to Father God. And a debt that has been paid in full is a debt that is no 
longer owed. And uh, then also we have the word here, closer. So I believe that, well, it's closing time, you guys. We're getting ready to go here. And I do believe it is going to be in 2020. Could I be wrong? Yeah, I could. I'm not going to set a date. I don't know when. But um, in light of everything that's going on, I feel that it is very, 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 very close. And uh, it is almost closing time. But I want to take you, like I said, on a golden brick road. And um, let's see here. So I looked up this um, particular article that uh, the sister had left there. And I found this and I was like, wow. And then, it, you know, of course, it says about the 80th anniversary. And I thought about the fig tree automatically. And, uh, well, uh, the next thing that happened is, well, a couple of days later, I was talking to Amanda on the phone. And Amanda had said to me at the very end of the conversation, you know, just like a quick, you know, she says, Sherry, have a dream and get a date. And <laughs> I said to her, I said, Amanda, you're talking to me. <laughs> I don't have very many dreams, you guys. I really don't. But the ones that I do have are very significant uh, when they're from the Holy Spirit. They're usually either teaching dreams or I ask about a scripture or something the Lord will show me. But I have had, um, I don't know, maybe two handfuls of uh, um, rapture dreams. Um, but uh, I, I just laughed and I said, Amanda, you know, you're talking to me. I don't have dreams. Well... Lo and behold, y'all, and I'm not even kidding you, the next day when I woke up, I don't know, it was early in the morning, 7.38, somewhere in there, the only thing I could remember, and I'm not setting a date, we're not going to go there, I'm going to show you what the number means, though. Uh, <laughs> when I woke up, all I could remember was Christmas was in the dream and the number 417 that was it right when I was waking up and I was like what wait 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 where'd it go where'd it go because I lost the rest of the dream <laughs> um, I don't uh, retain dreams very well you guys uh, now <laughs> Christmas can mean Christ mass meaning the birth of the child, okay? Because we know that, uh, well, we celebrate Christmas, and that is um, supposedly the day that Jesus was born on, but we all know it wasn't. Um, but we celebrate it anyways, uh, loving our Lord and being very thankful that he was born to save the world. Um, some celebrate it, some don't. You know, that's up to the, the person. Uh, but... Now, the number 417, well, we'll get into that in just a second, but I want to try to go down the line here. Now, when I had the dream, I called Amanda. But first, let me tell you this. I had opened up my little device here. And two days prior to that is when the girl had left, the sister had left the um, comment about this. Uh, closer magazine gone with the wind two days earlier and for some reason when I went to call Amanda and tell her about that I had a dream and I had a date <laughs> and the only reason excuse me guys my nose itches the only reason why I could remember that date is because it's one day before my mama's birthday and that's the only reason why I retain it even now um my mama's birthday is 418 so it blew me away but when I went to call her this ad right here and it was full paged okay came on and it had been two days y'all and uh, so anyways I called her I told her I had a dream and then she told me that she had a dream about uh, water trickling down her leg onto her foot. 
and that she knew that her water had broke early. Now, I'm talking to her and I'm saying, well, look at this. I got Gone with the Wind over here on, on the thing here. I've got the date. I've got a date and I got Christmas, the dream, which blew me away. And now you're telling me that you've got water trickling down your leg onto your foot like you're going to be giving birth early. And she knew it was pertaining to the church, y'all. She didn't, she, she, it wasn't for her. Now, we know that uh, Amanda is pregnant, but no, it wasn't for her. Now, okay, so let me go on. Now, I called Lashara after this. And I told Lashara. And uh, she, while I was on the phone with her, looked up the uh, number 417. I didn't ask her to do it or anything, you guys. She just did it. And the meaning, it is a, uh, a Hebrew word. It says animos. And uh, it, it means the wind. And fig. You heard me right. That's what I said. And I was like, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me, Lash? And she's like, no, I'm not. That's what it means. And I was like, Okay, so I think it was day before yesterday, I called Amanda and I told her what it meant and everything. And then she said, and I just want to tell you that after I had um, that, that dream, I think it was a dream or a wake vision she had. She said, we went out and we were going to leave and uh, her husband, John, got a CD out of the car out of the other car, an old car, and put it on. And she said the first thing that came on on the CD was an old Leonard Skinner uh, tune, and it was Tuesdays Gone with the Wind. And then she said after she after he pulled it out, the CD out, because she, I think she said she didn't like the, the music or whatever. I don't know. And... Then he uh, put on the radio, and she said, Dust in the Wind came on. You know that old song by Kansas, Dust in the Wind? Now, when I was young, I used to sing professionally. So, you know, I remember all these groups. And it's by Kansas. And you guys know, I always say, <laughs> go with me on the Golden Brick Road. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. And I want to let you know, I do believe that we are getting ready to be gone with the wind. I don't know. It could be months from now. But uh, everything that I'm being shown and being led by the Spirit, um, it's just, I, I can't make this stuff up, you guys. We cannot make this stuff up. This last week, through all this turmoil, uh this is what's happened and it's simple but it's very powerful and yeah i couldn't believe it every single little detail between amanda and lash and i and uh just amazing and then somebody put about um a comment about uh, nuclear blast would be a very strong wind. And uh, we know that it says in Second Thessalonians 2, 7, that he that now letteth will let until he is taken out of way. And we know that the Holy Spirit is wind. You know, he's water, he's fire. And uh, when he goes, because we indwell him, we go with him. And I believe when the bombs come down, we go up. I just want to give this to you for a little bit of encouragement today and let you know I love you guys and happy Valentine's Day, whoever celebrates it. <laughs> and um, God bless each and every one of you. Amen and amen.